Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss the total synthesis of histone. Why we are discussing total synthesis of histone? Because it is included in our syllabus that is CHO 450 chemistry of natural products. We have total synthesis of taxol, histone, juabion and so on. So in that case we are today discussing the histone. So in reference 6 and 7 you can see it in more detail but I will say we are specifically discussing the histone synthesis by whole heart and co-workers. So let's see how the whole heart and co-workers synthesize this histone molecule. You can see they have very simple synthesis for this molecule. They prepared intermediate A and intermediate B and combine that one that two intermediate to form the to form the histone molecule so this is a intermediate a this is intermediate a so how they achieve this achieve the synthesis of intermediate a they started with two methyl two methyl pentenone and it reacted with the vinyl magnesium bromide okay in presence of copper iodide so this vinyl magnesium bromide that is Grignard reagent will attack on the beta carbon okay this will attack on the beta carbon this will go here and we will get the negative charge on the oxygen okay so this negative charge will attack on the silicon and chlorine will leave so we will get the trimethyl silyl enolate. So this trimethyl silyl enolate was then treated with soda amide or lithium amide we can say. It is a similar like a soda amide. We have lithium amide in presence of liquid amide. It is a strong base and it will replace this TMS group with the lithium and finally we get the intermediate A. Okay is two step intermediate A. Remember this. Now we will go for the synthesis of intermediate B. Let's see what is intermediate B. This one is intermediate B. This one is intermediate B. So how they achieve the synthesis of intermediate B? They started with how many carbons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 1, 5 hexa Dine. Remember diene. Okay. This is a triple bond. So D Y N E diene. So they use N butyl lithium in presence of Timeda. As you know that Timeda is tetramethyl ethylene diamine. So it will coordinate with lithium and forms a strong base. So guys, we can get the carbonyl or here that carbonyl is stabilized by conjugation that carbonyl will attack on the this epoxide that is ethylene oxide and epoxide will open okay now we will get the this alcohol this alcohol is formed by reaction of this 1,5 hexadiene in presence of in butyl lithium and ethylene oxide so this alcohol as you know that which is not a good living group they treated it with the paratoline sulfonyl chloride and converted it to the OTS. Okay. Now, again the reaction of sodium iodide will convert this OTS into iodide. I minus will attack on this carbon and OTS will go away. Okay. And we will get this intermediate B. Okay. Now we have intermediate A as well as intermediate B. So let's see. This is intermediate A. Now this is intermediate B. We are going to combine this intermediate to form the intermediate C for our reference. Okay. For, for our reference, I am saying intermediate A and B and C. Now let's see. This one is A. This one is B. Now A and B are combined and we will get this molecule. Okay. We will get this molecule. You can see there is a 
there is a formation of new carbon carbon bond over here okay this is a new carbon carbon bond you can see here this is a new carbon carbon bond form between <coughs> the alpha carbon and the carbon which is attached to the iodine okay then next reaction is reaction of this intermediate c with the btmsa now remember what is mean by btmsa the above molecule is btmsa this is a bis trimethylsilyl acetylene bis trimethylsilyl that means two trimethylsilyl groups are attached to the acetyl molecule and the cobalt catalyzed cyclovadiation reaction i have prepared another photo for this now we can see that photo here you can see that this is a our intermediate having we have we are having this three triple bonds one two and three okay so this three triple bonds will go under cycle addition reaction okay like this you remember cycle addition reactions now we will get the six member ring as well as four member ring okay we will get six member ring and we will get six member ring and four member ring you can see here we get six member ring and that is benzene ring and four member ring remember there are six and these are two eight atom eight, eight carbon atoms are there so we got six membered benzene ring and four membered cyclobutene ring now this cyclobutene ring will opens up in presence of decanary flux okay how it will open it will open like this this double bond will shift here the single bond will break and again form the double bond so we get we will get this intermediate okay this cyclobutene ring will this cyclobutene ring will open up and we get this intermediate okay now we have again two double bonds three double bonds actually one part is diene and another part is dienophile okay one part is diene another part is dienophile now you can see that if we have diene and dienophile it is a intramolecular diacylder reaction this intramolecular diacylder reaction will give us six six fused ring system okay we get six six fused ring system this six member ring and this six member ring also we can discuss the stereochemistry here okay this is just for our convenience you can see hydrogen over here and hydrogen over here in the final molecule or in the product the up hydrogen will remain up and the down hydrogen will remain down and then last step for the histone synthesis actually if we go through the this publication that is angavante kem international in 1984 whole heart published this paper we can see that they tried two method to achieve the final product first tms deprotection with the trifluoroacetic acid to get this tms group over here and then reaction with trifluoro methyl lead tetra acetate trifluoro methyl lead tetra acetate to to achieve the final product that is this lead tetra acetate is actually oxidizing agent it will convert this tms group into oh group so finally we will get the strong molecule by oxidation understood if you have any doubt or anything you want to suggest me please write it into comment so just lastly we will get a review whole art started with this 2 methyl cyclopentanone reaction with phenyl magnesium bromide and trimethyl silyl chloride actually there should be three here okay we get tms enolate then reaction with the lithium amide we will get the lithium derivative and we call this as a intermediate 
A. Okay. Now, for the synthesis of intermediate B, what we saw that this is intermediate B. They started with one five hexadiene triple bond diene and treatment with n butyl lithium in presence of trimeda and ethylene oxide we will get this alcohol the alcohol oh group was activated or made it a good living group in presence of ptscl that is peratolin sulfonyl chloride and sodium iodide and we get this iodide b okay after that the intermediate a and b was combined we get the intermediate c over here and then reaction of intermediate C with the BTMSA that is bis trimethylsilyl acetylene in presence of copper catalyzed reagent that is cyclopentadienyl cobalt dicarbonyl okay it will give us a benzene ring and four membered cyclobutane ring this cyclobutane ring will open up in presence of or in a reflux in decay and we get the diene and dienophile diene and dienophile part so this diene and dienophile part will undergo the intramolecular dielectric reaction to give us the 6 6 fuse ring system then final step is reaction with tfa and trifluoro Later, triacetate to give us the final product. Okay, this is the total synthesis of Eastone by Hollard. Okay, if you have any doubt, please comment in. Comment, I will reply. Thank you very much.